hey, I got it. Here I am. You know what everyone has been slipping into my DMs asking about? You want to know my thoughts on part two of the RHO of BH reunion, which just aired a few days ago, which I haven't really discussed yet. Um, My thoughts are not much. I mean, a lot of people are torn. A lot of people are not giving Kyle a pass. You know, I do see what Kyle is saying when she says, you know, my first was two years old and is now going off to college. We got her a car. She went off to college and blah, blah, blah. You know, I've had two sisters on this show. I put my family on this show. Um, I talked about my divorce on this show. Look, she has a point. I mean, Team Kyle for a minute and then not Team Kyle for the other minute of like, you still, I don't even think to me, this is just to me. I don't even think it was that we didn't get the answers on Mauricio because we see you having troubles and we get it. It's that you introduce this other person that, look, 99% of the people listening to this right now have never heard the name Morgan Wade. Now, I know some of you are country music fans and say that Morgan is a legend and that she, you know, you've heard of her. The majority of us have not heard of Morgan Wade. So the point is you introduce this random name, which is now this random person, which is in our lives, and we know nothing about what's going on. So that's the problem that I have with Kyle. I'm kind of torn on this. I do think Kyle, yes, gave us the season. Well, Erica Jane gave us the season two years ago. So it's a little bit of both. I feel mixed on the reunion. I want to see the end. I do think Kathy Hilton gave us more in that clip of like, you know, I shouldn't be saying this, but here's the deal with Kyle than so many other things. So it's been a good season. It's been an okay reunion. I mean, I don't know. They're spacing housewives out, guys. They're spacing housewives out. We still do not have R-H-O-N-Y filming. It ended so long ago. Atlanta, yeah, we're doing a whole reboot and it's in trouble. But look, we got Portia signed on. We're going to have Kenya. So at least Atlanta's figuring their stuff out. Where is Roni? Because I've heard from multiple sources. I've heard, A, everyone's coming back. Then I heard everyone's coming back minus Jenna. Then I heard everyone's coming back minus Jenna and Sai. But... It's not like a real problem we have here, but Roni is nowhere to be found. I think they're slowing this down. And I think they're slowing it down for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. You want to know my opinion? I think it has nothing to do with the legal stuff per se that's going on with Bravo and Andy Cohn. I just think it mostly has to do with ratings. Like the ratings are down for all housewives. So I think it's oversaturation. And I think they want to space it out because- they feel that we want something if we wait longer for it. I don't really know if that's the case. June, anyone excited about Dubai? Look, a lot of people might be, and that's great. But we have Jersey coming in on Patreon. I will go into the full. I have so much, so much to say about the Jersey trailer and things I know and just reacting to the trailer so that will be on patreon by the way thank you for listening to yesterday's patreon everyone it seemed to be one of our biggest days in weeks on patreon um rachel you could tell was on she talked about when she dated pk and she had information about a friend of hers that had a little run in let's just shall we say with pk so somehow everyone wanted to hear that on patreon yesterday thank you for listening um i will react to the jersey trailer but we're spacing this stuff out we have jersey in may and then we have june so i don't think beverly hills is going to start i'm curious i mean it's the ratings granddaddy you know it's it's the number one ratings is beverly hills going to start filming right away again I wonder. I, I wonder if this is going to be the exception because we're now we're now not doing this anymore. We're doing it like regular TV. The season ends, we have a break, and then we'll start filming. I don't think all the legal stuff that's going on with Bravo and Andy helps. I think that personally, I think the network is sorry. I think this is a class in business 101 that you don't give one person this much control or power. It's different than Chris Harrison, who was on Bachelor and Bachelorette and Bachelor Nation. You know, that is different than someone that has a stake in 90% of the shows on the network. 
Well, by spacing out Housewives, and we have all these other shows, I mean, hopefully we'll have some new shows, it kind of pulls that power away a little bit. So I don't think it, I think this plan was in motion because of ratings, but I think that all this stuff going on with Andy is more of a justification to space out Housewives and not have it all going on at once from a business corporate network point of view. And I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, Andy's going, Andy's staying. There's no Housewives or Bravo without Andy. We can argue that all day. I don't even want to argue that here today on a Sunday. Don't upset me, please. What I can tell you for sure is that the network, NBC, is like, oh, duh, Business 101. Never have one person think that they have all the power or actually have all the power. I've had people come on this podcast and want to be regular for a long period of time, thinking that they had all the power and that ain't how to run a business. So I think NBC probably regrets that decision. Staying, not staying, I don't got time. We'll, we'll talk about all that. Later, I have heard there's more lawsuits coming. I don't know. What do I know? You know what I do want to talk about? The Vanderpump Rules salaries. There was just a article that got released. Um, I forgot the publication. Um, but the Vanderpump Rules salaries were released. You know, we hear all this chitter chatter. Can I just tell you that I have friends that know Sheena? And Sheena, for years, I mean, she just got the money from Tom, we saw. But Sheena, to these friends, for, and I mean, not years, like in the past, like even recently, always talks about how she makes like no money. And through these friends, we don't need to mention who they are, but it was almost like, God, they make no money. But I started to think Sheena's one of those people who cries poor because the salaries have been revealed. When it started, we all knew this, that they made $1,000 per episode in the beginning, which was more money than they've ever seen waiting tables. So it was $10,000 for the first season. Kristen Doty swears she got a $5,000 bonus, making it fifteen. dollars Well, it turns out that apparently now the OGs, which does include Sheena, Schwartz, um, Sandoval, you know, and the ones that are not OGs probably make a little less. James and Ariana and um, Lala, but Ariana was there longer than them. Um, 35,000 per episode. So there's normally more than 20 episodes, but 35,000 an episode at 20 episodes is 700K a year. And that doesn't include Lala's podcast, Sheena's podcast, send it to Daryl, something about her merch with a sandwich shop that's never going to open. So, I mean, these kids are making close to a million dollars a year. You know, I mean, at least 700. So I'm not feeling sorry for them anymore. I really didn't think it was that much money, to be honest with you. And it was revealed that, yeah, of course, Raquel made less. But with her, I think they said she was making like 19000 an episode. But yeah, doing the math, it's true. Vanderpump is right. Raquel made like three to three fifty a year. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I understand Raquel not coming back, wanting the same money as Tom and Ariana, like basically double. I mean, she is one third of the scandal, no pun intended. And also, let's face it, she was planning to sue Tom and Ariana, which I guess... Could she have done that if she was a cast member? Well, I don't know. They don't have the same contracts as housewives. And again, where, you know, one person cannot sue another person. But let me make it very clear that you can sue someone, cast member to cast member, if it's criminal. So for assault, um, abuse, anything that is a criminal charge, you can sue someone. So you cannot contract away your right housewife you cannot contract away your right to sue one of your fellow co-workers housewife to housewife which is the danielle stop clause if it's a criminal matter so i don't even know if any of this would have mattered but i understand why raquel is not back 350 the others are making like 700 i thought that was shocking i didn't think it was that much and why sheena complains to these friends of mine as of Pretty recently, like even like a year ago that she's broke and doesn't make that much money is beyond me. Erica Jane, Erica Jane. This is just a quick hit, guys. Let's not drag this out here. Erica Jane has done an interview saying she wishes that Crystal were the same Crystal 
on air that we see off air. She said, Crystal is so fun. We have a fun Crystal Mink off. Yes. Mrs. Lion King herself running the coconut water empire. And that she's so fun and that Crystal becomes a version of herself when the cameras are running. And basically it wasn't shade, Erica. Like I wish she would show her actual self. And Erica saying like, Crystal is still in that newbie phase. All these seasons in where she still is trying to care one way what the audience thinks of her. And basically you just got to give that up, which I agree. So that's my advice to Crystal when she comes back next season. I'm sorry, guys. I know you say it every year. Crystal's boring, blah, blah, blah. Guess what? I have news for you. Crystal's coming back. I hate to say it. I think everyone's coming back. Even your favorite Anna Marie Wiley. Anna Marie, she set us straight at that reunion. I don't know. I think Dorit is the least likely, but now she's got this thing with Kyle. Ass. Give her a pass. She's coming back too. What do I know? So that's what Erica said. Erica also said that she thinks Dorit and, and, and um, Kyle will work this out. And she said, there are things between us that the audience will never know that we know about each other that we've held back on. We saw that a little bit during the reunion where Kyle and Dorit were like, do you want me to go there? Do you want me to go there? This is true from, you know, when I used to hang out with the Saj, hello, Margaret, you know, like Marge and Teresa, and they really do know a lot of deep, dark secrets. Look, I knew from the Saj about Jennifer's uh, Bill Aiden cheating for years before it was brought out on the show. There's things, there's things I know about these franchises that I'm not talking about. So there is a lot of stuff that goes on between these women that's so dark that they don't bring out on the show. Erica just said it. Kind of begs the question, what are we doing watching the damn show, right? Like, I mean, but I do believe the deep, dark secrets between them. I do believe what Erica's saying is 100% true. I've seen it in New Jersey. I've seen it in other franchises. Miami, I just know things. And so if I know things, can you imagine what these women know between them? She's right. And that they, so in a way, these are good women because they don't, like Erica said, you know, we don't want anyone to be destroyed. She's like, you really don't want something bad to happen. So the stuff they don't bring out is really the deep, dark stuff. In Salt Lake, oh, please, they know so much about each other. And Erica said, look, we don't bring out that deep, dark stuff because we really don't want something like life altering bad to happen to each other. To that, I say, Erica, girl, I mean, I'm in LA today, guys, but What's going on over there in Jersey? Really? They really don't want anything bad to happen? Because they got Bo Deedle and they got investigators and Marge, the Sarge. And I mean, come on, Teresa, Teresa and Louie aren't up to no foul play over there. Everybody thinks just because I got stuff to say about Miss Gorga on the Patreon that I'm a tree hugger. Man, I got nothing great to say about Teresa. Trust me. She ain't no great shakes either. Oh, please. She's like a miserable person, that Teresa. Um, but I mean, Melissa's fake as fuck. So you got to pick one, right? It's what they tell me. You got to be team one or the other. But I believe what Erica's saying. They, they do have deep, dark secrets that are not being revealed, which again, why are we watching the show? Let's see that. Speaking of deep, dark secrets, cameras are back up. It worked, Jax. It worked. You know, everyone has a problem with Sandoval, but I've said this before on the podcast. If you've missed it, Jax has been trying to pitch this show for years, years before the Valley, after he was fired from Vanderpump Rules. This show has been in churning and burning, and he has tried to pitch it forever. Nobody wanted it, and that's no knock against Jack. That's Jax. That's how Hollywood works. It's all about timing. I mean, we have now Lisa Vanderpump's Vanderpump Villa. I mean, that's a result of Scandal. So this show, I can tell you, was 100% greenlit. It's Evolution. It's Alex Basket. It's the same person who does Beverly Hills. It's the same person who does Vanderpump Rules. It was greenlit because of Scandal. It is so hot right now. Jax and Brittany have a podcast. It's doing well. This is why Jax got his show green lit. It's just because of Scandal. That's not shade. Who cares why it's green lit? It's Hollywood. Things are shelved for years. And then they say, wow, that's successful. Let's bring this show out now that we shelf. So it's no shade to Jax at all whatsoever. I'm just telling you, this was in the works and nobody wanted it. Now we have it. And my point is, 
Jax is like, this is it. I think Jax thinks like, this is it, which buddy, it's Hollywood. There's always going to be something. So don't, don't, this, this isn't it. If this fails, you, you still have a career, man. You still, you got paid for the villains, like 200 K to go film that for two weeks. So, but they are doing everything. I still don't buy it. Cameras up. It worked. Cameras are back up. Just like Ralph and Drew's divorce. Just like Mauricio and Kyle's fallout. Just like Scandal. For the fourth time, we have cameras back up. This is, I think, just becoming, if it's a good season, what happens in Bravo. Pick the cameras back up. Let's film. Let's film what's happening. It worked. They caught Brittany moving out of the house. Can I tell you there's a convention in Kentucky this weekend? I was supposed to be there. You know why I go and cover the 80s and 90s conventions. My girl Shannon Doherty was there. I was going the last minute. I needed to stay here. It's Oscars weekend. I had things I had to cover here for work. So, but Jax and Brittany and Schwartz and Doty are there. So look, we're all professionals. We're moving out. Do, do, do. We still got to work together. But I mean, don't seem like there's any problems in Kentucky this weekend. Right now, real time, yesterday, Friday, today, we're all going out to dinner together. Schwartz and Doty and him and Brittany. I mean, what are they supposed to do? They're making money by being at the convention. But I don't buy it. I still don't buy it. I think camera's up. Jax, congratulations. You did well. This is what you wanted. One of Brittany's friends, Tammy Pescatelli, apparently. She's a comedian, although she's such a good friend. Brittany doesn't even follow her on Instagram, I noticed. But she says in some comments that, yeah, um, Jax is leaving Brittany because he's not attracted to her anymore because she gained the weight because she gained weight. I, I mean, I don't buy this at all. I don't buy this at all. If I don't buy it, everyone is slamming Sheena. Ariana's slamming Sheena. She's not giving her a pass. Sheena's crying. She always wanted Dancing with the Stars. You know, our, I, I mean, first of all, this is what I said was going to happen, you know, that everyone was going to turn on Ariana and just it's human nature when someone is given so much and you are on the same show. Yeah. You weren't part of it. It doesn't matter. It's human nature that you start to feel a certain way. Katie has come out and said that Sheena is a, a man sympathizer. And so, you know, I see it both ways. If I were Ariana, I wouldn't want to hear anything about Tom, not one thing about Tom. But, um, and I wouldn't want to deal with anyone that was with Tom. But at the same time, you're all not happy with Sheena either. Oh, you guys hate Scandaval. You hate Sandoval. You slam Sheena. Everyone's slamming Sheena. Katie says she has a problem with men, but um, sympathizing with them. But I don't know. I feel I don't like being told what to do and who to be friends with. I don't like it. Lots of people that are, do I have any friends that are friends with my enemies? I mean, probably it's like, I don't know, probably, but regardless, regardless of all of that, everyone is coming for Sheena. I don't know. Are we not taking Sheena's feelings into account? I mean, Tom was a really good friend of hers. I, I would, I like to remain friends with everybody. I would want to remain friends with Tom if I were Sheena. I don't like your enemy is not my enemy. If you're my friend. The minute you do something to me, you're my enemy. And then you're dead to me. I don't like having problems with people where I personally don't have problems with them. Until then, I want to be friends with everyone. This is just a quick hit. I got to go. By the way, on Patreon, we will cover the Jersey trailer. We are going to break it down. Should we do that this week on Patreon? I don't know. Let me think. Is there anything else? Oh, Lisa Rin is getting slammed. Delilah, um, her daughter was on the cover of a magazine. One of them is showing her like with her nipples coming through. It's like a wet t-shirt. She's clapping back at haters. She's saying it's the cover. Shut the fuck up. Does anyone care about Lisa Rin anymore? Let's see what happens with uh, the reunion part three. Is it going to be more interesting? I don't know. We have Kathy there to support Kyle. Oh, um, Hunting Housewives, Denise Richards. Has everyone watched that? And uh, Nene Leakes has a job. So, I mean, good for you, Nene. There's still work out there for you. I mean, Denise Richards, Denise fucking Richards. She just did a whole media tour for this movie. She's, she's, she can do Dancing with the Stars. She did Dancing with the Stars. Rinna, Vanderpump, Kenya. Do I think Portia could be chosen for Dancing with the Stars? I do. Do I think Sheena Shea could be chosen for Dancing with the Stars? Not in a million years. I'm sorry. It's a really hard gig to get. I understand why Ariana got it. Tom Sandoval could get it, except the whole world hates him. So I don't think he'll get it. I don't think anyone else from Vanderpump Rules could be chosen for Dancing with the Stars. Miami, 
there's only one name of someone who could actually be chosen. It's Larsa. You know, Larsa's daughter was in the junior Dancing with the Stars. Did everyone watch that like a decade ago? New York? Nobody currently on New York can be chosen for Dancing with the Stars. Jenna, possibly. Um, the Roni of yesteryear, it's come and gone. Luann has such a great team. She did Mass Singer. Maybe Luann. Maybe Luann Potomac. Ain't no one being chosen for Dancing with the Stars. The OC... Maybe Heather Dubrow. She has a great team. Beverly Hills. Garcelle could be chosen. She's a name. Um, we already had Erica Kyle could be chosen. Morgan Wade could actually be chosen. It's a hard gig. I love you, Sheena. I'm not coming for you. Even if Ariana, if Scandal never happened, honey, you wouldn't be chosen. Hey, Erica has a new song. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I love it. Go listen. Just David. This was a quick hit. Way too long to being a quick hit. I have a life. I can't keep away from you guys. I love you all. I'll see you.